Hey everybody, <laughs> I'm in Epcot's parking lot. Welcome back to your daily dose of Disney. The time, believe it or not, is seven o'clock and we're walking on in right now to Epcot. It's actually beautiful out. I wanna see the new beacons of magic. Characters are coming back to Walt Disney World. Meet and greets are coming back. We have a lot to talk about and explore at Epcot. I did want to ask you guys something because tomorrow I actually am going to be staying at Animal Kingdom's uh, Jumbo House, not um, Kidani. Uh, do you guys want me to do kind of like a check-in video because I've already done one before? But let me know because I solely did book that vacation at Jumbo to experience the extended magic hours that we're going to have at the Magic Kingdom tomorrow. So let me know what you guys want to see. Should I do a check-in video or not. A different story at Epcot other than what we saw last night at Hollywood Studios. There's barely anybody here, at least in line for attractions. All the rides appear to be walk-ons, which is great, which is great. We've got 45 minutes until this Beacons of Magic starts. And this one I think is the best one because of those points of light that we have on Spaceship Earth. If you guys stayed tuned or you guys were um, on my live stream, the opening night of Harmonious on the 29th, you would have saw this. Um, we're gonna come here and check it out because I haven't really been, actually haven't seen it. I haven't seen it because uh, we were leaving and then it turned on for the media event. Those who were here for media got to see it. I really didn't. Oh yeah, look at all these wait times. 10, five, 10, five, 10 for Soren. Is that Soren? <gasps> living with the land, oh yeah, living with the land closes at like seven or six, so Soren's a 10 minute wait. The highest in the park looks to be frozen at 40, 35 test track, but single rider is probably a walk-on. Um, pretty good night overall wait times, which is a good thing to see, especially since yesterday at Hollywood Studios. Uh, huh, those wait times were something else, especially for Rise of Resistance that kept going down. Arguably the biggest thing here at Disney World that we're missing is entertainment. But we did just have some huge news coming out of Disney World today regarding meet and greets coming soon. Let's go on Soren, and then I will tell you guys about this amazing, exciting news that's coming very actually soon, within a month, that we should see here at Walt Disney World. But uh, let's go Soren around the world. Haven't really talked about it much, but uh, face masks still required at Disney World in indoors. A pretty darn empty land pavilion. Very empty. It's like more peaceful, I like this. Yeah, living with the land closes pretty early. I believe it's like, what? Two hours before the park closes, or actually three. Maybe six o'clock? Cause it's seven. I think it closes at like six. I don't even know the reason behind that. <laughs> it's just not enough demand. That's probably it. When in doubt, ask a cast member and it seems that they're closing actually throughout the whole week at five o'clock for uh, refurbishments. I don't know what they're doing, but if you happen to come in this week, they're closing every day at five. So, you know, if you wanna go on Living the Land, go on before then. I'm a tad bit worried we're going to miss the beacon. It's in about a half an hour. It's a 10 minute wait, so we should be fine. We should be fine, hopefully. Say it with me in three, two, one. It's a walk on. It's a walk on, baby. For the first time in forever, we actually get an empty one. Usually I. I get sent the direction where there's a huge line, but this one was empty. Zero waits for us today. This is legit a walk-on. The other ones were all the way pretty full, so we got lucky. It feels so good.
works like that. Awesome. Yeah, well. Oh my gosh, that was such a different Soren. <laughs> to my left of me was the drunkest party of, well not drunkest, but like they were drunk and it was, it was actually just funny. <laughs> it was entertaining to say at least. We've got 10 minutes to get to the front of Epcot to see the new Beacon show. But as we've learned, they go uh, every 15 minutes. It's the same show, but I always like to catch the first one because it's, uh, it's a little bit different. It's just always cool to see, uh, you know, beacons of magic just come out of nowhere sometime this week i'm going to bring back another challenge video if you guys have any ideas please feel free to leave challenge video ideas down below inside the parks and then after the beacons of magic i'll inform you guys about the new characters coming to walt disney world now the cool thing about epcot's beacon of magic it's they have those points of light on spaceship earth and it's a little bit longer than the other shows from what I've kind of seen and done my research on. I think it's about like a eight minute, maybe it's less than that, but it, it changes over time. We're obviously not gonna stick around for the whole, whole show, but I do kind of want to see it go from, oh, it just turned off. <laughs> I was like, where did it go? I was looking at the camera. Oh shoot, we're late, we're late. It's starting, it's starting. It started at 7.40. Okay, wow, I didn't know it started at 7.40. Here we go. I still, I still had five minutes. Shine now and celebrate 50 years of the most magical place on earth. The most magical place on earth. Oh wow. That gives me gooseies. So, just like the other beacons, they just do that little intro. But the cool thing about uh, Epcot's beacons is actually gonna change over time with different designs. Right now, uh, Spaceship Earth is just kind of twinkling, but I feel like at 7.45 we're gonna see the real show and what it ultimately does. The intro show was at 7.40. Five minutes earlier, it caught me off guard as you guys saw. I was too busy admiring Spaceship Earth with, the, with its lights off, which you never see. I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing, and then it started. But in a minute here, we'll, uh, Hopefully get started, right? Here we go again. A bippity boppity boo! This is what I came to see. I'm gonna move to the left of the trees on the shot. Wow. It's the normal colors of Spaceship Birth right now. Look at the lights going all around. See that? Oh yeah. It's very pretty. Holy cow. That's awesome. This is not even the best. Wow. She's still going. Now this is what I wanted to see with the other beacons of magic. This would be cool at every park. If only they could do that. This is absolutely beautiful. It's the music as well. Look at the beacon, can you see the light? Woo! 
was a solid three minute show. Three minute. Pretty good though. That gets my thumbs up. Does it get your thumbs up? <laughs> Please. <laughs> There's an update with the monorails as well. This is my first time catching it on a vlog I did on my live stream, but all the monorails are going to be correlated with their color now. You see there's blue underneath. Actually, just kidding. I did tell you guys on my opening day vlog on October 1st for the 50th anniversary, but it actually first showed that in Epcot on the 29th. Pam over here, Pam, right? Yep. Yeah, she watches the videos and she was telling me that about um, every like 15, five minutes or so, we're actually gonna sit here and wait to see how frequently the shows go on. There's actually multiple different shows, so uh, you might catch a different one, and we don't know like the total, probably about like four or five. Don't really know, that's what I'm gonna figure out right now. Sure enough, every three minutes, there's a brand new show. Don't know how many shows they have in total, but every three minutes, it uh, appears something's gonna happen. So there was the intro, and then we're gonna wait about Three minutes or so for the next one. <laughs> we went dark again. Eight o'clock. Another show has started. They just announced uh, that there's no more virtual queue available for Remy's Ratatouille Adventure right before the show. I don't know why they did that, but they did it. And I don't think like the main show is different. I could be wrong, but there technically is two. This is hands down the best beacons of magic. You have to see the show. It's pretty cool, and it's not long. Look at that. Look at that. This is so cool. We're gonna walk the test track now because uh, we're gonna go on at night. Before test track, I'm actually gonna see in guest relations if I can exchange my old annual pass holder card for a new one. I think I can do it. Let me ask. And there's no line. Usually there's a line for guest relations, so we're lucking out. Now I'm not gonna be trading it in, I'm just gonna be uh, getting the new one, which is amazing, and I get to keep this. Can I see that in the yeah, of course. Ready? Yep. I rarely come into guest relations. Here's a quick look at Epcot's guest relations. Don't know if they're gonna be redoing it at all, but here we go. Thanks, Nick, appreciate it. Here he is, you too. This is a brand new card you can get if you're an annual pass holder, if you have an old one, and it's uh, Mickey. Sweet. Oh, we put when I have to renew it. 123.22. Love that. Test track is next. But first, I have to update you guys on the characters. All right, so Disney has just announced that a few meet and greets are going to be coming back here at the Walt Disney World Resorts all around property. But it does bring up a lot of questions um, because they are actually going to be indoors. One of those is going to be in Princess Fairytale Hall. And um, I wonder if you're gonna be able to take off your pit, your uh, your face mask for photos because currently, right now, you obviously cannot take off your face mask indoors. But um, are these gonna be personalized meet and greets? We don't really know. We just know that they're bringing them back. So so far, they just announced today, Princess Fairy Tale Hall. We're gonna see those princesses back meeting and greeting sometime in November. We're also gonna be seeing Mickey Mouse in his 50th anniversary Iridescence outfit return in Town Square Theater in the Magic Kingdom. Minnie Mouse at the red carpet dreams in Disney's Hollywood Studios. And then Disney Junior stars in the animation courtyard at Disney's Hollywood Studios. All those being great greets are coming back, but it does bring up those questions. Are there gonna be actually like meet and greets that we've seen in the past where you can interact and talk with them? I'm thinking yes. But the big question is, are you going to be able to take off your face mask and take your pictures? I'm hoping so because we've seen that on the cruise. But I don't know if we were able to do that because we we're all vaccinated and that's why they're allowing uh, you know, us to take down our face mask and take pictures with the characters. I think it's still going to be social distance. Then the next step question is, how many people are going to let in the buildings at a time? All I know is that we do have some sense of normalcy when it comes to meet and greets coming very, very soon here to uh, Walt Disney World in November. All those coming back in November. We'll have to wait and see what that is. Oh, and Indiana Jones is also coming back in December. December 19th, that show is coming back. I was thinking it was going to be 2022. It's going to be 2021. December 19th is going to be the first Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular back. We'll obviously be there for that, but November. Meet and greets coming back here at Walt Disney World. Also, Yeehaw Bob is coming back October 14th with the grand reopening of, um, why did I just, Port Orleans Riverside, Port Orleans Riverside, and I'm trying to get there. I'm actually going on the ride with uh, Pam, 
So if you guys run into me, I, I like to go on rides with you guys. Apparently your Apple watches actually work to activate these. I didn't even scan it, it just gave me I think some random car. But I didn't even know your Apple watch would register on these. There's these lights over by the creation shop and I had predicted these to kind of go with the points of light on Spaceship Earth. However, it looks like it does not. There's gonna be stand still lights that really don't do anything. It's just, you know, looks really cool. I thought it would interact with Spaceship Earth's points of light, but it doesn't. It does not. But take a second and look at how wonderful this shop looks like at night. It's a beautiful sight. I can't wait to see it once everything opens to my right. This is pretty cool. I dig it. Remember tomorrow we're going to be going to the extended hours at Magic Kingdom if you guys are staying at a deluxe resort. Um, I've kind of reversed, flipped my whole sleeping schedule because I've uh, been staying up very late, obviously going to the parks at night, which I never honestly really do. Uh, usually I'm here in the mornings, but Obviously, since we have these new night nighttime spectaculars, the new extended hours, which the first extended hours were here last night on the 4th, and there's nobody in line for any of the attractions at night. So uh, it might be to your benefit to stay at a deluxe resort if you guys want to skip some of the lines. However, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure was not open for those extended hours, and I don't know why. I think it should be, but it wasn't. It wasn't. We'll have to see what's all open tomorrow at the Magic Kingdom when we go. Uh, I think it's open till 11 o'clock. It's not midnight like Epcot was. I think it's 11. We're about an hour and 15 minutes until Harmonious and people are already claiming their spots, which I think this is the best spot to view Harmonious. So it appears if you guys want to grab one of these spots, I guess you got to start waiting an hour and a half until Harmonious, but I want to go all the way around, just kind of see what the situation is, see where people are sitting and whatnot. I do have to grab a quick bite for dinner. Brazil, I'm telling you, this pork belly is so very good. This is going to be my dinner tonight. I love it a lot. I'm telling you, the display isn't the best, but the pork belly is the best. It's very good. Currently at the moment, I'm just walking around the World Showcase because it's a beautiful, beautiful night out. It's uh, only 82 degrees out, and there's really not that many people here, so I'm not too worried about getting a spot for Harmonious. It's nothing like the first night, obviously. Nothing like the first showing. Could probably get a first row spot. Actually, maybe not a first row, but we'll get a good spot soon. Got the beacons of magic all the way over here from Morocco. That is very bright. Looks so cool. I hope they keep this even past the 50th anniversary. I simply uh, really love that you can see the beacons all around Epcot. It's without doubt one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. I don't know how someone can possibly hate on Harmonious. The middle barge is absolutely incredible. It's mist and it's a projection on that mist and it is crystal clear. I love Harmonious. It's a great show. Please give it a chance. I mean, please, please, please give it a chance. 
Well, everybody, that is going to be it for your daily dose of Disney. I booked it out of Epcot to try to beat the crowds and whatnot, even though it wasn't as crowded as it was opening day. It still is a lot to get out of Epcot, especially when you park. Um, but that was it for your daily dose. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're checking on into Jumbo and going to the extended hours at Magic Kingdom, only for deluxe resorts. I'll see you guys tomorrow. That was your daily dose. Peace out. Jump around. Jump around. Jump around. Go, 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 go. Keep going. There we go. And high five. You're fast again that time.